Khloe Kardashian's marriage to Lamar Odom had enough drama for one lifetime. But for this superstar family member, it's just one part in a long string of bad times. Where do we even start with this one? Sadly for Khloe Kardashian, Tristan Thompson's cheating isn't exactly a secret, as the basketball star has repeatedly faced rumors of infidelity throughout their romance. The first round of cheating allegations happened in April 2018, while Khloe was pregnant with their daughter. The Daily Mail released a video that appeared to show him locking lips with a mystery woman. Then, The Shade Room came in with a double whammy when they published footage of someone who looked a lot like Thompson entering a hotel with someone who looked a lot like that mystery woman. All this happened mere days before Chloe gave birth. And if that wasn't bad enough, that same month, TMZ dropped a clip allegedly taken in October 2017 that showed Thompson kissing a woman in a club while also getting cozy with two others. Understandably, a source told Entertainment Tonight that Chloe was, quote, completely devastated. But that wasn't the end of Thompson's cheating ways. Though the two reconciled, in February 2019, he was accused of being unfaithful yet again. When Hollywood Unlocked reported he got, quote, cozy with Kardashian family friend Jordan Woods. And, well, you know how that went down. He said he didn't kiss her. Liar! We're sadly still not done, though. The pair reconciled again, but in April 2021, he was accused of hooking up with model Sydney Chase, which he denied. December 2021 brought the bombshell allegation that he had cheated with a personal trainer who allegedly had his baby. Khloe Kardashian is a proud mom to True, but she had a long road to motherhood and has struggled with providing True a sibling. In a March 2021 episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Khloe could be seen talking to her sister, Kim Kardashian, about surrogacy, as Kim has also shared her own fertility issues. Khloe explained that her doctor told her she would be a high-risk carrier for a pregnancy and had around an 80% chance of miscarrying her second child. She heartbreakingly shared how she almost experienced a miscarriage early in her pregnancy with True. Chloe also got candid about becoming a mom again on Lady Parts that same month, sharing that she had undergone in vitro fertilization, quote, around three times. She also revealed that she had frozen her eggs and made embryos with her then-boyfriend, Tristan Thompson. She added she was grateful to have made the embryos to prevent her from having to undergo IVF again, as she'd, quote, realized her eggs aren't strong enough to be frozen. Season 20 of Keeping Up with the Kardashians delved deeper into the star's fertility journey and saw Chloe and Thompson go the surrogacy route. But during the second part of the show's big reunion, which was filmed in April 2021 but aired in June 2021, Chloe shared that their plans for a surrogate ended up falling through. Khloe Kardashian's eternal struggle with self-acceptance and body image has been well documented, and Khloe has opened up about trying to accept her looks after fighting for a leaked bikini photo to be deleted. The reality star got candid about her years of insecurities in a touching April 2021 Instagram post while showing off her body, describing herself as, quote, someone who has struggled with body image her whole life. She added, the pressure, constant ridicule, and judgment has been too much to bear. Every single flaw and imperfection has been micro-analyzed and made fun of to the smallest detail, and I am reminded of them every day by the world." Chloe further touched on her self-esteem issues during the Keeping Up with the Kardashians reunion, sharing she believed being on the show affected her perception of herself. I think that's when I started to become hard on myself because I was like, oh, this is how other people perceive me, but my whole life, I never looked at myself like that. Chloe's struggle with her body has also been captured by the cameras, including during a 2011 episode of Chloe and Lamar, where Chloe had an emotional breakdown in front of her then husband, Lamar Odom. But I'm so fat. She also shared what was going through her mind. I'm so tired of trying to pretend that I'm happy with my weight just to be a good role model when I'm, I'm so disgusting. The death of a parent is sure to have a profound impact on pretty much anyone, and Khloe Kardashian is no exception. The star was just 19 years old when her dad, Robert Kardashian, died of cancer, and has revealed that his death took such a toll on her that she almost ended up in rehab. She wrote in her 2015 book, Strong Looks Better Naked, When I saw my father in his casket, 
I completely fell apart. I was an emotional wreck, and I'm told that I was so distraught I actually passed out. At one point, I fell to the floor kicking and screaming, and I had to be sedated. It was really intense. I refused to believe my father was gone. I just wanted to believe it was all just a bad dream. That's when the partying started. She added it got, quote, out of control. Chloe credited her sister Kourtney Kardashian for helping to bring her out of that downward spiral. Robert's death has continued to affect Chloe, as she opened up about her regrets during an episode of Cocktails with Chloe, saying, I was 19. I didn't realize. I knew he was dying, but I didn't take advantage of that time. I think now, just seizing the day and every minute you have with someone, that's a blessing. Another sad death Khloe Kardashian has had to deal with came after her beloved 14-year-old pooch, Gabbana, passed away. The star confirmed the tragic news in an Instagram post back in January 2018 when she shared several photos of herself and Gabbana over the years, including a black and white shot of herself giving the adorable Labrador a hug. She confirmed in the caption that, quote, Sweet Gabbana had died the night before, and explained to her millions of followers how her four-legged best friend was more than a pet to her. Chloe explained that she thought of Gabbana as her first child, her companion, and her friend, who would always ensure she had company in her loneliest moments. She added, I never thought I would be this devastated over losing a dog, but 14 years is a long time together. She filled a significant role in my life, and I'm forever grateful. Making things even more emotional for the reality star, Chloe was actually pregnant at the time. The star was expecting her first child, who we now know to be little true, with Tristan Thompson, and had only announced her pregnancy via Instagram the month prior. A long source of drama in Khloe Kardashian's life was her marriage to Lamar Odom. It was a relationship which you could say had many ups and downs. The two enjoyed a whirlwind romance when they got together in 2009, marrying mere weeks after meeting. But the fairy tale didn't last long. In 2014, Chloe admitted she'd lied to protect Lamar, claiming he'd been unfaithful. During a July 2014 episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, she spilled what she had done on her previous birthday. I lied to everyone because I had to lie and say I was with my husband when in fact my husband was missing with another girl. During the relationship, she said that she was often alone and lied to everyone to maintain the image of happiness. But the cheating rumors were far from the only difficulty she faced with Odom. The basketballer also had brushes with the law during their relationship, including being arrested for a DUI in 2013. He also had traumatic health issues, being hospitalized for a drug overdose in 2015. Despite Chloe having filed for divorce at that point, she put the proceedings on hold and stood by Odom's side for months after initially being wrongly informed that he had died. During the Keeping Up with the Kardashians 10th anniversary special in 2017, Chloe recalled screaming when she heard the false alarm and called the misinformation the most traumatic thing. Despite having his back through the many low points of their life together, the relationship eventually reached its end, with Odom confirming in May 2021 that he and Chloe were no longer speaking. Chloe Kardashian has been pretty vocal about being the victim of bullying throughout her life, including sharing the harrowing story of how she was targeted at school. Chloe explained to Life & Style back in October 2010 that she was called fat and ugly by her classmates so much that she started to believe it about herself. She said, "...those words are played on repeat inside your head." But Chloe's not out for revenge. She explained, "...when people are bullies, it's because of a deeper-rooted issue. Either their family life is tough, or they're being bullied by someone bigger than they are. Revenge is not what I ever wanted." Chloe shared on Role Model with Leomi Anderson in July 2021 that she actually forged her parents' names on documents so she could move schools. Explaining her decision, she said, "...it wasn't my thing. I kept getting questioned if I was really related to my sisters because I look so differently. I didn't feel comfortable. I didn't feel safe there. I didn't connect." Chloe has since used her experiences to try and teach people that their words have power. Khloe Kardashian has had some health issues over the years, including a double brush with COVID-19. 
Chloe's initial COVID diagnosis was filmed herself for keeping up with the Kardashians after the show went down to skeleton crew for safety reasons. Chloe was very vocal about how hard the virus affected her and how tough it was to have to stay away from her family, including her daughter True. Chloe explained that she experienced vomiting, coughing, shaking, and drastic changes in temperature, as well as bad headaches. While Kim Kardashian confirmed her sister had been quite sick with the virus. Speaking about the incident on the Ellen DeGeneres show in October 2020, Chloe said she found the whole thing super scary. But the hardest part, she said, was not being able to see True while quarantining. She said, being taken away from your child for that long, because I couldn't be around my daughter, that was the most, like, heart-wrenching thing. Adding to that heartbreak, Chloe was diagnosed with COVID again a year later, and so was True. As Chloe was vaccinated, she explained in a tweet she wasn't expecting her second bout to be as bad, but announced she was canceling a slew of work commitments. She later followed up on Instagram, writing she was, quote, so over this. In a little-known fact about the Kardashian clan, Khloe Kardashian experienced a traumatic car accident in 2001 that has affected her long-term. Khloe opened up about the accident in a post on her now-defunct website. According to People, she stated the crash left her with injured knees that required reconstructive surgery, which caused her right leg to be an inch and a half thinner than her left leg due to muscle deterioration. Chloe said she was speeding and another car ran the stop sign, crashing into her and crushing her Mercedes upon impact. Describing the event, she said, I was wearing my seatbelt, but the strap was under my armpit. My head and upper body went through the windshield and my legs were stuck under the steering wheel. She mentioned she also had to wear a neck brace and had burns all over her body. The injuries required her to shower while sitting down and bring in friends to help wash her hair. Chloe has also battled migraines throughout her life, which she believes were escalated by the accident. Now, she says that she sometimes has bad headaches for days at a time. Her migraines started around the time she was in middle school, with the star recalling to prevention in July 2020, I would not be able to lift my head up. And being that young, it was scary. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.